we're going to start with the circle at the top of the head. That does not have to be a perfect circle. We're going to find the center and we're going to draw a line through the center just a little bit past the circle. And then from the sides of the circle we're going to bring some straight lines down and slowly start to curve them into the center from about the same point. This is the jawline. So now we have cheeks and a jaw and a chin. From the center, we're going to find the middle and make a guideline. This guideline is halfway through the face. This is where the eyes go. Now we're going to divide the top in half so that we have a quarter, quarter of the way down. This is the hairline. We'll do the same thing at the bottom. Divide the bottom section in half to get the next quarter. This is the bottom of the nose. And then a little bit under the nose is the mouth. Now, we have to figure out the rest of our proportions. It starts with the eyes. The face is five eyes wide, so I use my finger as a guideline or a marker. I'm going to make a little tick mark on either side. So there is the width of one eye in between where the nose goes. The eyes will sit either right on top or in the middle of this guideline. Don't forget to add in the iris. Now that we have eyes, we're going to add in the nose. The width of the nose is the same distance as one eye. So I'll draw a guideline straight down from the corner of each eye until I hit the guideline for the bottom of the nose. Now I'm going to draw a nose just like we learned with some circles and I know that the nostrils are going to point down towards that guideline and the bottom of the nostrils just hits that guideline that we made. And I nearly forgot eyebrows so let's add some eyebrows. They follow the curve of the eye. So added some eyelids, now I'm just going to draw a couple of contour lines for the bridge of the nose, maybe where I might see some shadows later. And now we got to get the mouth. So the width of the mouth goes to the middle of the eye. So draw a little guideline down straight from the middle of the eye. And the guideline we first drew for the mouth, just like the eyes or the nose, is the bottom of the mouth. So the crease should be a little bit above, and then the bottom lip is touching that guideline. It could be a little bit lower, depending on the shape of the mouth, but it should be touching that horizontal guideline at first. Drew a little line for the chin, now it's time for the ears. The ears connect to the head at the eye and the nose guideline. Your eyes, or I mean your ears, are as tall as the distance between your eye and the bottom of the nose. Now the hairline is going to curve up on the sides and then it can straighten out at the top somewhere near that guideline. It does not have to be right on it. The hair will lift a little bit off of the top of the head. This is where you can kind of decide if this is a male or a female person. Draw the hair in chunks, kind of like if it was a cartoon character. And then little lines for the details. Hair is tucked behind the ears and then coming straight down, but wait, I don't have a neck. So the neck is connected below the ears but we don't see the whole thing, so I usually start my pencil line below the ear, and as you can see, just curve it out and straighten down. Then we get into the shoulders. 
Our necks really aren't that long, so it should look like so. Now I can finish my hair. And give your person a name. I'm going to name mine Isabel.